in our modern age, a genuine, mind-blowing discovery is seemingly hard to come by. Our ever-expanding knowledge of our planet and the universe means that we are slowly chipping away at the mountain of questions we have about this plane of existence. But every now and then, something truly baffling rears its head, something that throws a wrench in the works of everything we thought we knew. These rare discoveries can be found in the strangest of places, leading to great interest from the public as well as the scientific community. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysterious and incredibly interesting discoveries. Phobos Monolith You may remember news of a mysterious monolith that had been sitting in the Utah desert back for four years in 2020. But did you know that there are dozens, if not hundreds of monoliths scattered across the solar system, and one particular monolith, the Phobos monolith, is 300 feet in height. The Phobos monolith sits on the moon Phobos, which belongs to the rocky, desert planet of Mars. But Phobos is not alone, as Mars also has a monolith to its name, appropriately titled the Mars monolith. The Mars monolith is a rectangular object that was identified on Mars's surface. Orbit imagery taken from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter at around 180 miles away shows that the Mars monolith sits at the bottom of a cliff, which scientists believe it likely fell from. While Mars might have its own monolith, the monolith that belongs to the moon Phobos is significant due to its sheer size. According to scientists, the Phobos monolith is much larger than the monolith in Utah that sent the media in a spin. In fact, data suggests that the Phobos monolith is 279 feet in width and 300 feet in height. The Phobos monolith mystery is amplified by the fact that Phobos is completely barren. Whilst Mars has an atmosphere and a weather system, Phobos sits silently in space, with its solitary monolith pointing up towards the heavens. What's more is that Phobos is tiny compared to the grand scale of the universe, making the sight of something so massive atop of a small celestial body even more creepy. The effects of erosion are common for strange discoveries on other planets. Mars itself has been the subject of many strange discoveries, such as the Mars face, the Mars pyramid, and even the levitating spoon. These rock formations are usually a result of our perspective from Earth, as well as millions of years of rock degradation. While interesting to many, Phobos has yet to receive any significant research or space exploration. Optech and the Mars Institute have proposed that the site of the monolith be investigated. This mission is referred to as PRIME, fully known as Phobos Reconnaissance and International Mars Exploration. The proposed mission would see a lander touch down on the surface of the lonely moon to take samples of the moon's geology. Currently, the PRIME mission is not set to go ahead, and talks of funding are next to non-existent. However, Famed second man on the moon, Buzz Aldrin, has previously supported the idea of a mission to Phobos, so there might be a chance in the future. In fact, when Aldrin discussed the idea of sending a mission to Phobos, he said, when people find out about that, they are going to say, who put that there? Who put that there? Mars Monolith While we touched on the Mars Monolith in the previous entry, it's also deserving of its own. The discovery of the Mars monolith came from the same stream of images taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter over a decade ago. The image of the monolith depicts a seemingly massive rectangular structure jutting out from the planet's surface. The monolith has had waves of attention since its discovery by the high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Because of this, scientists regularly speak on the matter of the Mars monolith, as well as other similar structures found on Mars and elsewhere in the solar system. Jonathan Hill, a researcher and mission planner at the Mars Spaceflight Facility at Arizona State University, is tasked with processing a large chunk of NASA Mars mission imagery. Hill states that in his opinion, the object is most likely a peculiar shaped rock. Speaking on the matter, Hill said, when your resolution is too low to fully resolve an object, it tends to look rectangular because the pixels in the image are squares. Any curve will look like a series of straight lines if you reduce your resolution enough. This would explain the seemingly large number of monoliths found in the solar system. 
This visual illusion is a side effect of our distance from things in outer space. The high-rise camera is able to take photographs at a resolution of one foot per pixel. While that might be useful for a large number of research purposes, it does mean that smaller objects can lose focus and detail. This also explains why the height of the monolith appears to be so large in the photos taken by NASA. The photo is taken during a time where the sun is at a low angle, which effectively stretches the rock's shadow much further than other times of the day. This results in the monolith's height appearing much larger than it actually might be. To Hill, the location of the Mars monolith also suggests that it is nothing more than a boulder. He argues that it makes little sense for a being or beings to create such an object just to leave it in a location it would eventually fall. Speaking on the intentions of aliens, Hill says, If I was going to build a monolith somewhere, that's the last place I would put it. The debris falling from the cliff would cover it up pretty quickly on geologic timescales. Odd radio circles in the sky a genuine mystery. You might be familiar with UFO sightings and crop circles, but have you ever heard of a radio circle? In September of 2019, researcher Anna Kapinska delivered a presentation of objects she had discovered in the astronomical skies. There were a number of odd things that Kapinska recorded. These objects did not seem to fit into any category she was familiar with and quickly began noting down their characteristics. One of these objects was an image of what appears to be a strange circle of radio emissions. Similar in appearance to a ghost's ectoplasm, the spooky sphere was unlike anything Kapinska and her colleagues had seen before. Amazingly, just a few days after the discovery, one of Kapinska's colleagues, Emil Lenk, discovered another. The team decided to name them Orcs, standing for Odd Radio Circles. The discoveries had been made thanks to the Evolutionary Map of the Universe, or EMU, project. The project is run with CSIRO's Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, or ASCAP, telescope. The EMU project is tasked with peering into and plotting vast swathes of the observable universe that we have yet to see. The ASCAP telescope is well suited to this, and it can cover much greater ranges of the skies than other telescopes and can take images at much greater distances. Since the project was centred on areas of space that had yet to be observed, the researchers expected to find something during the run of the project. Surprisingly, these strange radio circles were found almost immediately, and were found manually by the team. The team confirmed that the objects weren't just a glitch in the telescope's imaging software by using other telescopes to look at the same astronomical position. Puzzlingly, the scientists are unable to determine just how large the orcs are and what distance they are from Earth. Ray Norris, one of the team's researchers, said they could be objects in our galaxy perhaps a few light years across, or they could be far away in the universe and maybe millions of light years across. For now, the only thing that the team knows is what the orcs are not. The team managed to rule out a number of possible causes for the circles, including remnants of supernovae, evidence of galaxy formation, and Einstein rings. What is so exciting about this discovery is that the team themselves described it as a genuine mystery. Many astronomers dream to discover something so unlike anything we know to exist in the observable universe, but now they are discovered, the real work begins in trying to decipher what exactly these strange rings are and how they fit into the complex landscape of the universe. But what do you make of these three mysterious outer space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.